Hey guys, here's another uh, small update. It's November 26th, and I'm out here piddling around. <clears throat> I finished up the uh, glass on the passenger side of the car and got the chrome moldings back on. Um, this one here was original to the car, and this is a, the reproduction door door piece I put on. Uh, all in all, they look uh, pretty good. There's still a few uh, minor scratches in this uh, old original I wasn't able to get out, but all in all, it looks pretty good. Um, reproduction, you can see right here where it's uh, bent more of it at the wrong angle, but uh, it's still uh, quite a bit better than my old original piece. It was just beat to death. But I got that uh, all taken care of. And the window all finished up. And so it's designed here. I don't have the clip. It's working nice and smoothly. And so that uh, part is done. I called uh, Firewheel Classics today and ordered my vinyl top. And so hopefully that'll be here. And uh, after Thanksgiving, I'll get out here and try and and get it put on. But uh, that is where I'm at uh, with the car as of now, and I appreciate uh, everybody watching, and hope you all have a, a nice holiday, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Hey guys, here's another little update on the Camaro. Well, the old uh, brown truck of happiness showed up today with the uh, vinyl top, and so I'm going to hopefully uh, put this on here in the next couple of days. I'm going to just unwrap it and let... Uh, some of the wrinkles try to work their their way out. Uh, it's been so damn cold around here lately that uh, it may take me uh, a little while to get some of this worked out. But I just kind of threw it up on top, and uh, looks like a pretty uh, you know pretty decent top, I guess. But, uh, like I said, I just just now put this on you know a couple of minutes ago, and it's uh, <laughs> a lot better off than that headliner was. I don't think it was cold quite as long. <laughs> in the box and so like I say I'll just let it sit uh, you know unwrap for a little bit and then I'll get out here like I say in the next day or two and see if I can get it uh, glued down and keep moving but uh, anyhow that's uh, where I'm at as of now and I will uh, turn this uh, camera back on when I've got something else to show and uh, as always appreciate y'all watching and have a great day hey guys here's another small update on the Camaro it's uh, December 14th, and uh, you're not here today. Uh, most of the day, kind of goofing around, and uh, went ahead and threw the front fenders, uh, both front fenders on, and the inner wheel wells, and uh, got that taken care of. Uh, I did install the new uh, the rubber splash guards in it, on both aprons, and then stuck those on. I replaced uh, all the Ravel molding on the bottom, both sides, uh, with a reproduction kit, and uh, all in all, it, it looks pretty nice. It's not uh, exactly the same size as the original, this, this crazy uh, kit. The uh, door pieces are actually a quarter inch shorter than the originals, and then the uh, front fender pieces are a quarter inch longer than the original, so it kind of throws all the gaps off, but uh, it still looks better than my you know, beat up originals or 45 year old originals. And so, doesn't look too bad. I had bought a new emblem kit and was hoping to replace all the emblems. And uh, unfortunately, the only emblems I was able to, to use were the just the SS's. Um, the new emblems, <laughs> the studs were uh, not in the, the correct location, you know, as the original. I used original emblems to drill the holes. Um, and what I should have done was I should have just ordered the the new kit and used the new the new emblems to drill the holes because the uh, studs are off slightly on the reproduction and so they're they don't want to fit the holes right or you get them in there and the emblem sits funny and it looks kind of goofy and so uh, I had to use the originals again um, like I say I got the SS both new SS's on there I actually broke the uh, one of the new 396's trying to put it on this. Uh, driver's side front fender because the uh, emblem came uh, you know perfectly flat and that's kind of a rounded area and uh, when I got it on there I tried to suck it down to uh, you know match the curve of the fender and it snapped it in half so it's uh, kind of discouraging some of this stuff you know 
you, uh, you pay a lot of money for it, but the quality is just is just terrible. But uh, you know, uh, I had bought that vinyl the vinyl top, and I was hoping to get the vinyl top on it, but uh, it's been so darn cold here uh, lately. I just can't uh, I can't get the vinyl to soften up enough uh, to put it on. I don't want to. I need a good hot day where I can throw it out in the sun and let the sun beat on it a little bit and soften that vinyl up and then they go on pretty easy. But uh, it's been, you know, in the 20s and 30s, you know, during the day here lately and it's just, uh, been, it's just been too cold and I've, uh, you know, I can heat it up in this garage. I run the heater most of the day and it's up just above 60. I had it about 65 earlier. I turned the heater down because I'm ready to go in the house, but, uh, you know, it's just not, it's not warm enough to get the vinyl, so I may have to wait a until I can catch a nice sunny day, you know, when it warms up a little bit, maybe in the spring to put that on. I'll probably uh, go ahead and just throw the the, uh, the rear, rear glass in it. I'd like, like to at least have, uh, you know, the back window in before I do the vinyl so that I have a way to uh, secure the top when I'm doing it. Uh, you know, when I put the tops on, I'll, you know, center it on the car and then I can put tape, you know, from the top to the glass to kind of hold it and give me a reference point. And then uh, I just flip over half of it, you know, and glue half it down, and then come back to the other side. And so I think that'll be easier. So I bought a ribbon uh, to put the back glass in and got it cleaned up and kind of ready to go. I just need to get my wife to come out here and help me, uh, you know, set the glass in. Still haven't uh, done anything with that uh, headliner. What I may, the, you know, may do is uh, just pull it out and see if I can, you know, use a, get an ironing board and, uh, you know, get some of the wrinkles. I think that thing I. I've, I may have had that vinyl top stored away for 10 years. I don't even remember when I bought it, but uh, the wrinkles, they just won't come out. And it's not its not wrinkles from it not being stretched. It's just wrinkles from where it was folded. They're just, the creases on it are just too hard. And so um, I may get an ironing board out here and, and, I'll, and iron and, and pull it back down and, and just see if I can iron out those wrinkles. If not, when I order an interior kit uh, for the car, I'll just get another vinyl, uh, or I'm sorry, a new, uh, a new headliner and go with it. I had to make uh, a bunch of clips to hold that, uh, that lower uh, molding on because the uh, clips with the, with the kit aren't even close to being, uh, you know, correct. And so I kind of spent some time, uh, you know, doing that. I made some out of sheet metal and then, you know, painted them and put studs. And so that was a little time consuming, but it turned out pretty good. And uh, other than that, I haven't really, you know, done much. I've uh, painted, the, painted the driver's side bumper bracket. I've misplaced the passenger side front bumper bracket somewhere out here in this disaster area. So I need to find it so I can get it painted. And then I'll put the lower uh, fender extensions and the valance and the uh, rest of the sheet metal on it. So I'll probably end up uh, throwing the hood and everything on just so I can make sure that, the, you know, the front end's square. And I have, you know, consistent hood ga uh, gaps before I, you know, go ahead and tighten everything down. Right now, the, you know, I've just got a couple bolts holding the fender where I've got the door, door gaps adjusted. And, uh, you know, they're looking pretty good overall. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm glad to see that uh, my stripe <laughs> turned out the way it's supposed to with me, you know, painting it all in pieces. I was still, I was always in the back of my mind a little worried that maybe the, the stripes <laughs> between the fender and the door would be off. It wouldn't line up, but they actually turned out real nice. And so I'm... I'm very pleased, uh, you know, with that, and I've got real nice flat transitions, which is one of the things I really like. And so, uh, real happy with all the gaps in the car. And so, but anyhow, I guess that's enough rambling. Uh, I haven't had a video out in a long time. Just uh, honestly, haven't been working on the car with the cold weather and you know, I'm needing parts and and whatnot. But uh, thought I'd post this up just to have something to show. And uh, as always, I appreciate y'all watching and. I hope uh, everyone has a safe, uh, safe holiday and a Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.